message to General Kinte. As we look forward to the familiarization tour of the Chief of Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Masana Kinte, we take this opportunity to wish him and his entourage well throughout the tour of the country. It is important to note that the Gambia is at a crossroads, given that our security is still fragile. Fragile in the sense that we have lived in an entrenched dictatorship for more than two decades. The task ahead is daunting since the mess created over the period cannot be corrected immediately, but efforts must be put in place now to bridge the wide gap between the population and the military. It is an open secret that our military was like a militia force which was at the service of the dictatorship. There are still loyalists in the Gambian military to the ex-president and this poses a serious threat to the country's security and no other person is tasked with the responsibility to correct the wrongs but General Kinte. Consequently, it is incumbent upon you to ensure that we have a competent and professional military devoid of militia's loyalty killer monster Jana far away in exile in Equatorial Guinea. General Kinte, for many who knows you, discipline and sacrifice have been your hallmarks and your reappointment as Chief of Defense Staff is also a clear testimony. There are rallying points in your leadership of the military and you have acted in a culture of courage and service to the Gambian people. General, when you were first appointed as the Chief of Defense Staff, there were apprehension because of your relatively young age. The Gambian military was still in a state of flux, struggling to harmonize its various and varied components into a cohesive entity that can operate in synergy. It is therefore a testimony to your maturity and leadership qualities, your intellect as a military strategist and indeed your ability to adopt. President Barrow never hesitated to reappoint you and within a short period, our military became viable. The qualities and attributes I have outlined are reasons for your brilliant military career. You were entrusted with heavy and delicate responsibility as a young officer, and as chief of defense staff and later as a diplomat. These are positions of responsibility and trust, which again testify to your ethos and hard work, discipline and integrity. From all accounts, it is clear that you are a fearless and a determined peacemaker. I can therefore say with confidence, that you are indeed a general and can make the difference. Have a successful national-wide tour.